We knew this was gonna be a special year for Slipknot as the band celebrates their 25th anniversary, and it already has been. With the introduction of the band's new drummer, Eloy Casagrande, who's getting great reviews from fans, for that intensity that he brings behind the kit, I've seen them live with him, it's amazing. Definitely a sight to see. But also, who could forget that intimate performance from Slipknot where fans got that incredible opportunity to see the band in such a unique environment. Now they're this massive global force of a band. So really, you're not gonna be seeing them playing in such a small venue, maybe ever again. This was a charitable show where the proceeds from this event, where the tickets were on sale for just $9, went to a local no-kill shelter as well as a local boys and girls club. And Clown recently delivered those checks to both organizations and spoke about just how much it meant to him and the rest of the band to be able to do that. And I'm sure it means a lot to the fans who are in attendance at that show to not only see that special performance, but also to do so for such a great cause. I mean, essentially that was a fundraiser and I thought that was amazing. But also in a new interview, Clown revealed that new Slipknot music is coming much sooner than the fans could expect. Here's more. Clown presented the proceeds from that special intimate Slipknot performance to two very special causes, the Boys and Girls Club High Desert, and the Joshua Tree No Kill Animal Shelter. It's really cool to see Slipknot doing this. You can tell that these two causes actually mean a lot to them. And I think that anytime an artist can use their band or their platform or whatever to support the causes they believe in, uh, you can tell that it's special for them. And I think that, especially for the Boys and Girls Club, you know, Clown is a very family oriented guy. And you could just really, you know, you know, this menacing monster up on stage and you just see the dad come out of him when he's here and I just thought it was so wholesome and I just love to see uh, bands like Slipknot doing charitable causes and they just make metal look good and it says, uh, today it was my honor to be able to give a donation on behalf of Slipknot to the Boys and Girls Club High Desert and the Joshua Tree No Kill Animal Shelter. There's nothing better than doing the things you want to do and I believe they really feel strongly about this. And so not only were the fans demanding that they do this show, but Slipknot found a way to also help the community in which they were performing. So I just love that and uh, thought it was really cool that they did that. I wish I could have gone to the show, uh, but those of you that went, it looked like you had an amazing time. And uh, I got to see them a couple days later at Sick New World and they brought it to say the least. Here's the scenes from uh, both where Clown gave the check to the Boys and Girls Club as well as the No Kill Animal Shelter. And you can see supporting a very, very good cause, the Boys and Girls Club, such an amazing organization that does a lot of great out there. And then here's the group picture. Thank you, Slipknot. Imagine those kids. Somebody commented on Instagram on my post and said, imagine those kids like 15 years from now, like, dude, clown from Slipknot came and delivered a check to the Boys and Girls Club. Legendary moment there for those kids. And then here he is presenting the check. I, I, I presume it looks like the uh, animal kill shelter there as well. So helping a, a very worthy cause. That is a no kill shelter. Important to make that distinction there. That is something that uh, not every shelter does and requires a lot of extra financial support for them to be able to do that and you know, give these, uh, these animals a, a fighting chance at life. That's something that is important for me as well as an animal lover. So very cool to see Slipknot doing such great with the uh, music and the career they've been able to have and continue to have. But y'all, that is not all. We apparently have brand new Slipknot music coming sooner than any of us <laughs> could have imagined. In a brand new interview with Revolver, they spoke to Clown as he reflected on the band's illustrious 25 year career. And they asked him about all these hints and teases that new music from the band could be on the way. Of course, they've been hinting at this previously, but it sounds like it is coming very soon. And you know, you see a lot of bands drop a new music to coincide with tour dates and things like that. So I suspect as we enter into that summer touring season where business really picks up for bands that get really busy, I really think that new music could be coming really soon. Here's what he had to say to Revolver though, to that end about the possibility of new music. Revolver celebrating the 25th anniversary of Slipknot and they caught up with several members of the band about how things are going today in the band and reflecting on their career as well. Clown says it's a good time in the band and things are going incredibly well. He said, it's feeling very, very, very good to be in Slipknot these days. We've all been through a lot, and I think we're just in a really good place as men. There's been a lot of years of learning, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of listening, a lot of communicating. Communicating may not have been our strongest point, somewhere within all of this, 
but we're really communicating now more than ever and it feels great. And when you keep communicating, you get things done and you prove to yourselves that you can still experience anything you choose. And that's fascinating for us these days. We're back in full on Slipknot mode. We're getting ready to do a North American tour in two parts and then a Europe with an all new philosophy, two nights on, one night off, all buses, no planes, and taking a couple week break and then finishing it instead of doing six weeks and everybody losing it. We're gonna see if we can sustain more energy and move forward in a really positive way to get more done. Now, I think that is really interesting to hear clowns say that because Slipknot are notorious for being road warriors where they're just going, going, going nonstop and their live show is so ruthless. It's so physically intense and demanding. And as the band's been doing this for as long as they have, 25 years, they definitely deserve some rest. And I think they're at that level now where they can definitely do that. And so that's really great to hear that they're gonna pace themselves at this point in their career. And maybe that could add to some longevity. You've heard Corey talk about some of the physical issues that he's dealt with out there on the road. And Corey's in great shape and his vocal performances have been amazing. Um, but you know, I think that it does, it'll wear on anybody. It'll wear on the healthiest people over time and so to have Slipknot being able to have a, a healthier touring schedule I really applaud that and I think it's best for all members of the band and it's best not just for their performances but also for the wellness of the members of the group but here is Clown speaking on the possibility of new music from the band right around the corner the interviewer said Slipknot had been dropping hints that there's new music on the way and even confirmed the name of a new song Long May You Die what can you tell us about that Clown said well one thing I can say is this there's always gonna be new Slipknot music, but we've also said there's a filter, and we are the filter, and that filter must go through everyone. And when I was telling you that we're doing a lot better communicating, now apply that to communicating about music. I can say that there's gonna be music sooner than you can imagine, delivered to you in a way that you can't imagine. And I'm excited because we're not on a label, and there's a lot of dismay with that. You know what I mean? But there's also a lot of middle fingers with that. I love it, you know? come and get us or we'll come and get you. They asked if Slipknot was exploring the possibility of getting a new label. He said, what I can tell you is that we've already been motivating around creating music because of the love of doing it. So you're gonna get music really soon. And if I can have a loud voice in it, I will make sure that we have at least a good amount of music put out before we do anything with anybody. Now I don't hate labels. In fact, I'm from the generation of record deals and producers and pre-producing your album and cutting to two inch tape. So I have a fantasy with all that. I like it when we can just book our plane tickets and go rock out in the studio. If we don't go with the label, we're gonna have to do all that ourselves, which might mean hiring some people to help pick up the loose ends, which makes it a business. And I'm not sure we're interested in opening up another business, but I am interested in understanding what it means to go directly from our brains to your brain with nobody in the way. I'm interested in that potential. Now there's a lot more to that interview and they spoke to other members of the band as well. I thought it was a really good piece. But what I take away from this is that Slipknot really is in a good place today. And I loved what he had to say about experimenting with what it would be like to have Slipknot just releasing music directly to the fans. First of all, I think we've heard other members of the band say in the past that they weren't making money from their music, which is just something that I'll never be comfortable with. When you have these bands, they're putting this music out and they're not receiving money from it. It's crazy. So on that fact alone, I think it's a good thing that they can actually earn money and maybe that makes it easier for them to have a, a lighter touring schedule, not be so reliant on touring. Remember, these guys got nine members of the band, different than your typical three or four member group. So. You know, this really comes down to what the band is gonna want in the future and the test of how they release this new music, I think will, uh, will say a lot. I also think that when you don't have deadlines that labels give you that you have to adhere, to adhere to, it can really make things a lot more creative for the bands and it just seems like they're in a good place. So I'm excited. I think the fans are gonna ride for this new music and let's see how it all turns out. It seems like they're feeling inspired. We know there was conversation about the last album and how it was kind of done over COVID. They didn't feel like they could get in the room together. And so I think we're entering back into that phase where the band is communicating well, they're all on the same page. And, and so I'm really excited about what the music is gonna sound like. As always, friends, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I appreciate you all tuning in. And be sure to subscribe with notifications on for the latest news and updates.